So let's have a nice little sit down chat video today. I have nothing written down, nothing planned. I'm literally just gonna sit here and tell you what's on my mind and hope nobody knocks on my door with a big butterfly net in a few days. <laughs> Boobies. I feel like I've got loads to tell you, but you know when you try and tell someone something and your mind just goes blank? I feel like that's what this is gonna be. Pleasantries, how are you? I'm pretty good. I got work in a few hours. It's gonna be pretty busy because people have just been paid and everybody wants their, wants their shots and get drunk and all that jazz. I'm totally jealous. Every time I see big groups of people come out into my pub and they're just like, hey girl, shots. I'm like, where's my shots? Me, I need more drinking buddies. My best drinking buddy's seven months pregnant and my other drinking buddy works most rock night nights. So I need someone to come drinking with. Let's do this, let's plan a night out. I am coming down with like a really bad cold. I have a two year old and she goes to nursery, comes back with all kinds of diseases. I'm waiting for leprosy to come through my door. I catch everything off her. Joys of being a parent, eh? <laughs> Ill 24 seven. <laughs> so let me tell you some stuff. I am really bored of my hair. <clears throat> I don't want to change the colour because as much as I love other coloured hairs, blue is the easiest to keep and I la I'm lazy and I cannot stand faded hair. I'll keep it blue, I've shaved the side recently, I'm considering growing my fringe out. What do you guys think? Shall I keep my fringe? Should I grow it out? Like, I take hair stuff very seriously. <laughs> it's at a fringe length that I quite like, so I won't trim it for a little while. I don't know, I don't know. Let me know. Ben and I went to London a few weeks ago to the Scala. We went to a nostalgia rock night. It was amazing. They played so much Drowning Pool, Sepultura, Slipknot, Linkin Park, Old Manson. They played pretty much every song from my teenage life. I felt like I was 14 again with my massive flares on and just rocking out in my bedroom. It was amazing. I don't know when the next one is, but it was so, so much fun. I cannot wait to go again. Okay, really important stuff now. You guys know that I'm a horror fan. I'm actually wearing a Friday 13th t-shirt today. Uh, no, wasn't on purpose. Um, from Primark, Primark at Halloween. They did some pretty good stuff. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to Sheffield Horrorcon convention in, it's, it's in May this year, it was in July last year. And this will be the third year that they've had it. I've been every year so far. They go above and beyond with their guests. They have loads of like authors and loads of artists and stalls and everything. But every year they've had really big stars. They obviously have friends in high places because they, they're getting good people. Anyway, there's only been two announcements so far for this year and they are Sid Haig, most well known for playing Captain Spaulding in Devil's Rejects and House of Thousand Corpses, and um, David Warner. Now David Warner's been in like loads of stuff, Titanic, he's the evil guy in Titanic. I know him from Man With Two Brains. Has anyone seen that film? Because nobody seems to have seen it and I love that film. And he's in the, the original Omen and he's been in loads of stuff and I'm so excited to see him. As much as I like love Omen and all that, I am gonna take my Man With Two Brains DVD, even though it's a horror convention, I am gonna take that to be signed because that would be amazing. <laughs> but it's for a weekend and we're gonna go up on the Saturday and spend the Saturday in Sheffield, just find a cinema, have some dinner somewhere and stay in a hotel and then we'll be off to the convention Sunday. What else, what else am I up to? I am getting tattooed tomorrow. This is my Valentine's tattoo from my husband. This was actually designed for me by a subscriber. I haven't actually told her that I'm getting it tattooed. I met her last year and she designed this tattoo for me and I put stuff off all the time. And, but I've wanted this and I finally booked it and it's getting done. It makes sense to a lot of you. I think if you're outside the UK, you may not know what it is. Or if you're under 18, you probably won't know what it is. Anyway, you'll have to wait and see. That video should be uploaded next week on Valentine's Day. What are your Valentine's Day plans? We don't actually have any plans. I'm pretty sure I am working. Last year we went to see Deadpool and went for a, for a subway. That's like perfect. Emily Valentine's right there. Can't wait for Deadpool 2, I'm so, I'm so excited. <laughs> Any good films coming out that we can watch around Valentine's? Cause I'll be working. There's gotta be something out, isn't there? Something scary and gory. 
They're the best kind of films. Disneyland in a few weeks. I uh, cannot wait. But what Violet doesn't know is that we are actually going to have breakfast one morning with Mickey Mouse. So she's going to have breakfast with Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and Pluto and Goofy and all the characters. She is going to go crazy. But for Christmas my mum got her loads of princess dresses and she also got her a Mike Wazowski costume which I'm so excited to wear because I'm going to wear my Sully onesie and she's going to be Mike and then Ben's going to be so jealous because he doesn't have a Monsters Inc costume. Ben can be Roz. Sorry Ben. <laughs> What else do I have planned? When I get my tattoo done, I am going to talk to my tattooist about tattooing my nipples because she has tattooed me for quite a while now. She knows I'm a pansy. She knows that I fidget and I squirm and I moan all through getting tattooed. I'm going to ask her if it would be weird if she tattooed my tits. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You have this weird kind of relationship with your tattooers because they get so up close and personal. Like the tattooers I go to now, it'll be like, so do you wanna, you know, do you wanna tattoo my nips? <laughs> I don't know how she'll feel about that. I don't wanna just book it and then her, her to be like, oh, these are cute, where are they going? I'll be like, here. <laughs> So I'm gonna talk to her about that, see if she's okay with it. I'm pretty sure she will be. Just think I should warn her that my boobs are gonna come out. <laughs> I am totally fixated on this nipple idea at the moment. Someone did actually suggest I get a shell tattooed on one. I really considered it. Would that look wonky? Two shells? I don't think I'd get two shells. Maybe one shell and one heart? Is that weird? <laughs> the only person who's gonna see him is me and Ben. I think that's really it. I don't really have anything else planned or not in the immediate upcoming months. My best friend is like seven months pregnant at the moment. Her due date is actually the day I come back off holiday, which I know really sucks because I've got a holiday when she's having a baby, but our holiday is booked for our anniversary. But her bump is big. We're kind of all really hoping that he comes earlier. I don't know, she's doing so well because She's been told her baby's gonna be very big. So that is it. I don't think I've got anything else coming up. Not really. That kind of takes me up to May. That's when Horicon is. I've got my tattoo tomorrow. I'd like to get my nipples tattooed before Horicon. Not that they're gonna come out or anything. It just seems like that might be a nice time. I might book in to get my nipples done and my face. We'll see. That'd be a good video though, wouldn't it? Tits and cheek tattoo. <laughs> Anyway guys, it's been quite fun sitting here chatting to you. I think that's everything I'm up to. We've got burlesque night in a couple of weeks. So I get to go and see some lady strip and see some boobs. That's always fun. March, Disney, April's quite boring. I'll probably find some, probably find some gigs or something to go to in the meantime. But that's it. Anyway, that's it. I've been rambling for far too long. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you're up to. Got any exciting things coming up in the next few months? Would shell and heart look wonky? I think it probably would. Let me know. Anyway guys, I will see you very soon. Much love, stay weird.